Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we will be making amala with a wedu and a fish stew. Come with me, let me show you what we'll be needing. First of all, for the fish stew, we're going to need some blended peppers. So this is red bell peppers, tomatoes, scotch bonnet pepper and onions. And here is our fish. For this pot, I'm using penga sauce. You can use any fish of your choice. Next is the ewedu. The ewedu, I bought a frozen one. I'll show you how I prepare that in a sec. And this is the el elubo. Elubo is yam flour. So we'll need some salt, some dried ground crayfish, some seasoning, and some oil. So firstly, I'll put my oil in the pot. And just give that a minute to heat up it doesn't need to be too hot so next our oil is uh, a little bit warm not too hot we're going to put in the peppers just a little bit of salt one of this will do I'll give it a good stir. Cover it and leave it to cook. So after about 10 to 15 minutes of simmering, the sauce should be ready. So we'll just give it a good stir again and check for salt make sure you're happy with it it's perfect i don't need any more salt i don't need any more seasoning and i'm just gonna put the fish inside as i told you earlier we're using penga sauce today and you can use any fish of your choice so just dip it into the sauce and make sure they've all gone all the way in Just cover the fish in the sauce. Don't stare at this point, otherwise the fish the fish will crumble. And we don't want that. So just cover and leave to simmer for a little longer. So I'm gonna just check it. Ooh, la la. It's ready. Just give it a good shake like that. So it all comes together. And yeah, it's ready. The fish stew is ready. Next, I'm going to prep the ewedu. So this is the ewedu I'll be using for this dish. And I bought this frozen from the Afro-Caribbean shop, my local one. So um, it has an outer bag and an inner bag. So if I cut that open, then you have that. Nobody has time to pluck away the leaves. I did enough of that as a child to last my lifetime. So there you go. That's your alternative to away the plucking. So just put that in a pot like that. So it comes quite thick you're going to need some water so just put a little bit of water at a time just to loosen it up give it a good stir okay. just like half a cube of seasoning don't need a lot 
and some dried crayfish. This I got from from Nigeria, thanks to my mother in law. So a little bit of that, or a little bit more of that, and a tiny bit more. There's not too much crayfish. Okay, give it a good stir, and you can put it on the heat. Another thing you can add to your ewedu is iru. Iru is locust beans and it's like a condiment. But on this occasion, I've chosen the dried crayfish over the iru, so we'll skip that step, but feel free to add that step. In total, prep and cooking time for ewedu is only about five minutes, so it's usually very quick. Keep an eye so it doesn't boil over. And our ewedu is ready. So next, we're going to to make the amala. For the amala, you need some boiling water in a pot. You can only make amala in a pot. You can't make it off of the heat. And the trick is to add the elubo, the young flour, in bits, because you don't want to make it too hard, and then you have to keep softening it. So add the elubo in bits. You can either use your wooden spoon, but if I need to walk my arms, I go to the gym. So I'm using my handheld mixer. It works for me. You don't have to, you can do it the old fashioned way. So I'm going to put my elubo in the hot water, boiling hot water. Let's leave it here for now. Okay, so once you've mixed it for a bit, you need to steam it. So I'm just gonna scrape it all together and leave it to steam. But I'll get this off the mixer. Scrape it all in. And at this point, just leave it on low heat. You don't need a lot of heat for this one. Scrap it all in and put some water, warm water preferably. Just a little bit, just enough to steam it. And leave it to steam on a very low heat. And we'll just leave it to steam for a couple of minutes. Okay, yep. Our amala has been steaming for a couple of minutes and it's ready for the final mix. So here we are, our amala, ewedu, and fish stew is ready to be enjoyed by me. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.